Hey, Brennan here, BrennanBaleski.com, and in this video, we're going to be going over Shopify and Oberlo, how to get them connected utilizing the Oberlo app, as well as how to use the Oberlo Chrome extension, really how to get all of Oberlo and Shopify all set up and configured. This is especially important for all of those beginners out there trying to get set up with their Shopify dropshipping store and wanting to get everything connected to where you can fully automate your Shopify dropshipping business very effectively and easily. Easily. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first step that you do need to do is obviously have a Shopify store and go ahead and get installed with the Oberlo app. Now, in order to get Oberlo set up, there will be a link to this uh, page as well in the description. So you can go ahead and get right to it, which is uh, Shopify and it's the Oberlo page here. So find products to sell on Shopify with Oberlo. So that's basically what we're doing here, getting it all set up with Oberlo. You're able to easily uh, import products into your Shopify store. So it's very, very simple to do that. Uh, it makes it very, very easy for order fulfillment, which is really the most uh, useful aspect of this app because it's basically just a one-click order fulfillment and AliExpress will go through there um, or you can go on to the AliExpress.com it takes you through there orders the product for you directly it, it, Berlo is basically just the automation engine behind it all and making your Shopify dropshipping business work out so obviously you grow your business with Oberlo you can do that and it and allows you to basically get all set up and uh, import your products very easily. So without further ado, let's jump in. So the first thing you do need to do is obviously have Oberlo installed. Then you can go into your apps and once you have Oberlo installed in here, the next step is to make sure you do have that Chrome extension, which is the Oberlo AliExpress.com product importer. Like I said, this will lead you through everything which will be down in the description. And so once you have both of those, the Chrome extension and the actual app here from the Shopify app store, make sure it's installed in your app section on your Shopify dashboard. This is just a test store for those of you guys wondering out there. So all we do is then come straight over to AliExpress. Now you search your niche, you type in dog. For today's example, we're just gonna be using dog as an example. Uh, uh, product. So we just search dog, we sort it by orders, and now let's, you know, we're seeing a bunch of dog products, right? So we want to get these into our stores. How do you actually do that? So you come here, and once you have the extension, it will come up with this green box. Now, when you're selecting products, it is important to make sure that they do offer e-packet, which is what this little green box around here is, is effectively that this supplier offers e-packet, which is very important. It is so that your customers are receiving the items within uh, two to four weeks. So it is the fastest shipping time, about 12 to 20 days. So that is definitely very, very important for your dropshipping business. Uh, if you're going the whole AliExpress, Oberlo, uh, Shopify route, here. So as you can see, uh, that pet finger, let's go ahead and imp import that into our store. All we have to do is come here and push this button, uh, push this product to a burlo. We just click the blue button. We click the button and it says product imported successfully. So all we have to do is then we can either click the import list or we can just come over to a burlo and go to the import list directly. Uh, if you're already in the Oberlo dashboard, it's effectively what you're doing there. You come in here, as you can see, the products imported. Now, when you're importing your products, it is important also to keep in mind to make sure that you're not importing any products from AliExpress that may be uh, copyrighted or, or Star Wars. So any Star Wars stuff, any Marvel stuff, you have to stay away from that. Any fake Nike because that will get you sued in the long run with your store. So just make sure that you are importing products that are non-copyrighted, that are, you know, products that are unbranded essentially. So as we come in here, it, and that's just a fair warning so that you don't make any uh, dire mistakes with your business here. So uh, the original title, as you can see, is just Hot Selling Super Soft Pet Finger Toothbrush. Obviously, no one, uh, that's like a super, you don't want to use that name in your business and on your storefront. So you definitely want to change out that name. So for this, we could just go with... Um, you do want to make sure these are uh, search engine optimized. So, you know, certain keywords could be in here as well. So let's go with uh, soft or pet finger. So pet or pet toothbrush is probably the, <laughs> the best name there. It's a doggy toothbrush. Uh, so pet toothbrush, uh, you know, dog pet toothbrush for dogs. I mean, you could really, I'm just kind of going on a whim here with the title pet toothbrush for dogs. I mean, I would probably spend more time on the actual title. If you did want to figure out uh, a really solid title, you do want to make them generally at least long enough so that they do show up in uh, search. When people search on Google, they might find your store through making sure that your products are search engine optimized. So obviously that's the title there. And then the collections, all you have to do is just select a collection. Now, 
these collections are being sourced from Shopify itself. So when you go into the uh, product section and then go to collections, uh, these are what the collections all look like. You create collections in there. That's how it's popping up here on Oberlo. Uh, you do want to sort your products by collections. So we'll, we'll just put this under, I don't really have an exact collection for this. We'll just put under products as like a general or pet tools. Pet tools is actually probably the best identifier here. So you do want to make sure you're organizing things by collections, but we come over to the script description here. And so this, you once again, you do want to make this uh, SEO optimized as well, which is search engine optimization. Um, you want to make sure that's optimized. Obviously, get rid of the default AliExpress supplier thing. And you do want to add some sort of custom description here. Maybe, you know, like a tutorial maybe or a steps to use or how to use the dog toothbrush. Something like that. Or this dog toothbrush. You just want to make sure you use your keyword dog toothbrush. So this dog toothbrush will be the very best toothbrush for you and me or something, something like that. <laughs> um, you know, you can, you, you, you and your dog, because you know, you could sell them on the fact that, uh, they're keeping their teeth clean. The dog, you're keeping the dog's teeth clean so that when it's uh, cuddling with you, you don't smell that nasty breath. So, you know, it's good for you, you and your dog. Yeah, it's a, it's a mutually beneficial product. there, not just for the dog to keep the teeth clean. So you don't have to take it to the vet. Uh, but it also no more smelly breath. So you can really sell people on the, the fact that the product is good, but that is really a whole nother topic of discussion for a separate video. But that is, you want to type out a good long description. You go to variants here. So this is where the magic kind of happens here with Oberlo. And really what automates a lot of it is that you're able to import your products, you know, directly from AliExpress without having to go in and manually add products. Because if we were to go in and manually add a product, it takes a while, whereas with Oberlo, you can easily auto import. And when you go to fulfill your orders, it's a, like I said, the one click, it goes through, it automatically fulfills the order for you. So it's very easy to do. Uh, you just have to click like one or two buttons and it goes right through. You do want to make sure that you check this as the, so that the price doesn't auto update on you. You do want to check the pricing of your suppliers uh, every so often, but I would say you do want to avoid, you want to make sure you check this box here because if it auto updates on you, uh, your product might randomly go to like $2 if you're buying it for $2. I had that happen one time, not very fun. I had to refund the person, kind of an annoying process. So make sure you check that box there. Uh, the price, so the price here, we do want to have a d decent markup, of course. So the shipping uh, to United States, I believe is free. So this is a or no, it was at 221. So keep in mind that the it says free shipping with non e packets. So when you're setting this up, you do want to see what the price would look like with e packet because we want the things to actually get to our customers and with tracking information as well. That's very important. That's how you avoid uh, super duper long shipping times with this whole uh, Shopify dropshipping business model. And so as you can see, 221 plus the 64 cents. So the product comes out to 285. That's the actual total price that you would be paying to fulfill it. So don't follow this cost. Follow the actual cost once you add an e packet in. Uh, so keep that in account there. So we want to add the price. So let's just charge, um, let's say $7.99. We charge people $7.99. It's marked down from maybe uh, $15 is then what that would be marked down from. So we go ahead and have that price there. You do want to make sure that you are doing a price and then a compare at price uh, just for your customers and all that kind of stuff. So that is the next step there. And so your profit would be about $7 and 35 cents. Now it probably would come down to about $5 after you account for the uh, shipping fees here with the total price after e packet and stuff like that, as well as the uh, payment processing fee uh, through the credit card, debit card providers or PayPal, potentially uh, whatever your customers are purchasing through on that end of things. And then we come over to images. So this is the next step here uh, before we import it to store. So this is the images section. Now, typically images won't have the store number here. That just happened to be uh, something with this product. So if you do have that problem, uh, you can always go over to the product and instead of the details, go to feedback. And you can always look at customer images to see maybe something like this. Uh, or, or this, you could also add this in manually into the Shopify listing. So if we have, say, for example, this product, you just scroll down to add images. You can uh, save the image to your computer and add it in right here under the Shopify dashboard. If you do want to add in uh, some other custom images beyond just the ones that are from AliExpress, uh, you know, you can add in basically whatever images you want. But the easy importer, obviously, you can select, okay, I want this one, this one. 
uh, no, well, not that one because it's kind of the same as that. And then let's add in these three images so they can automatically, the images are added. And then all we have to do is click the import to store button and the product is being imported directly into the store. So it has now been imported in uh, to the Shopify store. So all we have to do is come back over to Shopify and we can go scroll down in the product section. See, as you could see is the pet toothbrush for dogs and as you can see, it's all imported in here. Now, it definitely makes it a lot faster to actually import your products this way into your Shopify dropshipping store, of course. And really the, the main big part of this is that you're able to really easily import a lot of products. And secondly, you're able to easily fulfill orders. So when orders do come in, uh, it makes it very, very simple. All you have to do is click like one button and it goes through with the Chrome extension and it auto orders the product for you with Oberlo. So Oberlo makes it just super, super simple for Shopify dropshipping. It's definitely a must have app if you don't already have it. This is how you use it. I know this is probably helpful for a lot of you beginners out there. Like I said, the link to everything will be down in the description box below. So you can go ahead and get started with Shopify and Oberlo, the Oberlo app to go ahead and start dropshipping easily and effectively in your dropshipping business. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell as well so you don't miss anything if you have any questions feel free to leave that down in the comments section below uh so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed the video brendan here brendanvaleski.com and i will see you in the next one peace out